As the lead member for Community Resilience, Health and Wellbeing at South Cambridgeshire District Council, I've recently been in touch with most of the district's COVID volunteer groups, either by phone or email, to thank them for their considerable efforts so far during the coronavirus pandemic. When I spoke to them, it seemed that the considerable efforts to control the spread of the virus were working. Indeed, the reports coming back from the volunteers were, were that after a period of intense activity, they were seeing a period of stability and reduced demand for their help. Since then, and it's only been a couple of weeks ago, the picture has changed considerably. We're now seeing a worrying trend nationally of increasing infections. In South Cambridgeshire, infection rates uh, have been relatively low, but we mustn't be complacent because one case can become hundreds in a matter of days. So we all need to play our part to help check the virus's spread. Latest figures show that in the last 10 days there have been 14 confirmed cases of coronavirus in South Cambridgeshire, but that may not be the true number. Could be well higher, uh, because as we know there have been some issues with people uh, getting, to, getting to tests. This week we've heard the government's chief scientific advisor uh, warning that the UK as a whole could face 50,000 cases a day in October without any action. This is why it's vitally important that we all play our part to protect ourselves, our friends and our loved ones. Just because we have so far been spared the worst of the pandemic, we shouldn't assume that this is going to continue. We all need to play our part to help slow down the spread of the virus. This week, the council are holding meetings with the COVID volunteers and parish councils around the district that we have done so much to help vulnerable and shielding residents to get through the lockdown. Every one of the volunteer groups has indicated that they will continue to do what is necessary to help their fellow citizens. It seems that the response going forward could look quite different though to the one we saw earlier in the year because of course there may be fewer people able to help since uh, quite a few have now returned to work. We're also speaking with supermarkets to see how home uh, grocery can, deliveries can be managed to ensure that the most vulnerable, vulnerable do not again have to visit the stores and put themselves at increased risk of in infection. We'll also be providing a link uh, between the Covid response teams, county-wide and nationally, to make sure that the important inf information is conveyed to the right people in a timely way. One thing is clear. All of us are going to have to follow the government experts' advice and stick to the rules if we are to have any chance at all of avoiding the imposition of more severe local lockdown rules. And most importantly, to avoid an increase in infections and deaths, especially to the vulnerable and to the elderly. It's up to all of us to take this coronavirus pandemic seriously and the steps to contain it seriously. Our actions now may well decide what kind of Christmas we get. Please take care. Thank you for listening. Bye for now.